Hi everyone, Catherine here. I'm going to read you a story today. It's called Old Rock is Not Boring. Here's Old Rock. And it is written by Deb Paluti and it's published by G.P. Putnam's Sons. Old Rock is Not Boring. Okay. Old Rock has been sitting in the same spot at the edge of a clearing in the middle of a pine forest for as long as anyone could remember, and even before that. Wow. Being a rock seems awfully boring, said Tall Pine. You sit in the same spot day after day, said Spotted Beetle. Here's a Spotted Beetle. It's a very nice spot said Old Rock. Don't you want to go anywhere? asked Hummingbird. Hummingbird. I'm not being very nice to him. I've flown all over the world and sipped the nectar of exotic flowers. I would surely be bored if I could not fly. I flew once, said Old Rock. Gosh, said Tall Pine. How? Said, asked Spotted Beetle. Rocks don't fly, said Hummingbird. Old Rock told them about the time in the beginning when darkness was all around. And then I erupted out of a volcano and soared through a fiery sky into the bright light of a new world. Wow. Pretty amazing. So it was just the one time, said Hummingbird. And now you're sitting here, said Tall Pine. Being bored, said Spotted Beetle. I'm not bored, said Old Rock. Don't you want to see more, asked Spotted Beetle. If I climb to the tip-top branch of Tall Pine, I mind seeing a deer mouse nibbling seeds in a nearby tree. Or watch ships sailing across a big lake. Old Rock said, I've seen a lot. Old Rock told them about the time a group of friendly dinosaurs lumbered by, munching every leaf in sight. Then, many years later, a not-so-friendly dinosaur came looking for a meal. No, I haven't seen her. Thanks. Everything's a extinct. But old rock is there. Look at this. Time passed. Things changed. The world chilled. Which wasn't too bad because old rock took a ride in a glacier and toured the land. Ice glacier. Skeleton of a dinosaur. But old rock's still with us. Once the glacier melted, it left me perched at the top of a ridge. And I could see the place where the sky touches the earth. Up on a ridge. My, you have seen a lot, said Spotted Beetle. How unusual, said Hummingbird. Yes. But that was ages ago, said Tall Pine. Aren't you bored now? Don't you want to move? My limbs flutter gently in a breeze and dance wildly when the wind blows. I've never danced, but I'm pretty good at doing somersaults, said Old Rock.
Old Rock revealed that after teetering on the ridge for a while, the ground rumbled, and I tumbled and stumbled down and down and down into a valley. Shouldn't you be roaming? <laughs> the rock says to the animal. Grasses grew, mastodons roamed, and lakes formed. Wow, it seems like Big Rock is seen a lot. I mean, Old Rock. I never knew a rock had moves like that, said Tall Pine. I wish I could have seen those things, said Spotted Beetle. What happened next? asked Hummingbird. Now they're realizing that old rock has seen a lot. A pine forest sprouted up around me. One day, a strong breeze shook a pine cone loose. From the pine cone, a seed fell onto the forest floor. I watched that seedling grow to be the tall pine who dances in the wind and keeps me company. Sometimes a spotted beetle wanders along to report all that he sees. And every so often, the loveliest hummingbird stops to rest after a long flight, and she describes the amazing places she's visited. It's a very nice spot, said Old Rock. Yes, it is, agreed Tall Pine. Very nice, said Spotted Beetle. Not boring at all, said Hummingbird. The end. Here's some more facts. 18 billion years ago, Old Rock, form, old rock forms deep under the Earth's crust. 300 million years ago, a volcano erupts and Old Rock is blasted into the sky. 150 million years ago, Old Rock, Rock chats with a friendly dinosaur. 66 million years ago, Old Rock meets a hungry T-Rex. 26 million years ago, Old Rock begins a journey in a glacier. 16,000 years ago, the glacier retreats and leaves Old Rock perched on a ledge. 11,000 years ago, a mastodon stops to rest. And in the present day, Old Rock, Tall Pine, Spotted Beetle, and Hummingbird sit in a very nice spot at the edge of a clearing in the middle of a forest. They are not bored. Great story, huh? I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day. We'll be reading again really soon.